What is going on everybody? It is currently 5.39 in the morning. Um, I'm fishing Rhode Island waters uh, today. I'm actually putting it at Sakana Point. Um, there's about a million people here. It's mobbed, so I hate going on a weekend. This tiny ramp, all you can barely see, but it's absolutely mobbed. Um, but yeah, today hopefully we can get on some Albies. I saw them here about two days ago. Um, Bonito, maybe Spanish mackerel if we're lucky. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys in tune and enjoy the video. Alright, so. Right off rip, uh, I come out of the harbor and there are about a million kayakers everywhere. There are boats, there are birds, there's bait, but there aren't any fish. So I kind of search, I play the long game, I cast at some bait pods uh, for about a half hour. And I made the decision to leave all the boats, leave all the people, and try and find my own fish. And sometimes, guys, that's what you got to do. You have to find your own fish. Because um, also, like if it's in the middle of the day, sometimes those fish are super finicky where they will not hit anything because all the boat pressure. So it's important to sometimes leave the crowds, go try and find your own fish. There he is. That seems like an Albie, dude. Let's go. Not a single boat. Let's go, dude. Not a single boat. Oh, no. It's a Mac Daddy. <laughs> it's a mackerel. I will take it, though. <laughs> Mac Daddy. I haven't caught one of these since, since a while. Oh, it's a bonito. Why did I think that was a mackerel? You! Fishing the boat, dude. All morning, there's a hundred different boats out here. You just gotta find your own fish. Nice little bonito. I haven't seen fish anywhere. Oh my god, dude, you're freaking out. Relax. <laughs> I am gonna keep him, but uh, I'm probably only gonna keep one Benito today. Beauty. Wow, holy cow, dude. These fish are just ridiculous. Ridiculous. That was some of the craziest acrobatics I've ever seen on a fish in my life. <laughs> this guy is absolutely fired up. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Once they want it, they just want it. I mean, you can't keep them off of it. That was unreal. Oh. Nice bonito. Still going in front of me. Oh. I'll let this guy go just because of how good of a fight he did. He put up. 
So I switched to the surface eraser, Hoagie surface eraser. Beautiful little Benito. Gone. Oh, on it, on it. They are on it. Come on, bird. <laughs> they were on that thing the second it hit the water. Here they are. Wow, dude. Holy shit. Guys are wild. There he is. Got him. <laughs> wow. It's unreal, dude. They come right at you. You think you lost them? Keep them outside the boat. Oh, he's bleeding. He ate it. Poor little guy. Surface eraser. You. You should be fine. <sighs> yes. This thing is so fun to fish, guys. Hoagie surface eraser. It's kind of like a mix between an epoxy and a pencil popper. And I mean, they go fucking nuts for it. They're not eating the fly. I don't think I, I'm not getting in them with the fly. I haven't got one cast really in them. It's they've all just been a little short. Um, but these fish are highly aggressive, so I might put on a bigger fly. Oh my God.
Oh my god. There he is. Wow! <laughs> They're jumping out of the water with him. Craziness, dude. Hold off. Wow. Wow. Dude. The eats are fucking unreal an inch away from the boat. Wow, that's a good eat, dude. Wow. That's a really good eat, dude. This guy might have some size to her. Look at him just frothing right there. Wow. This light gear, little 2500 BG, 15 pound braid. And I got this medium light. St. Croix Rod Geeks, holy shit. Do not want him getting in the engine. Unreal. Unreal, dude. Unreal, dude. And so, guys, my dad actually slept through this morning, and he hasn't caught Benito all year. So he's gonna be really pissed. This fight is just unreal. I could probably catch him all day. Not a single boat on him. Hopefully Albies mix in, who knows? This is a good fish, really good fish. I'm curious to see just how big. That's a nice fish, dude. Probably three or four pounds. Nothing crazy, but no, came off. Sorry, I was kind of horsing him. You beautiful fish, though. Holy shit! Right there again. Watch this. On it, on it. Look at that. Wow. Just unreal. You just see the little tuna just shooting out of the water. It's just crazy. And then he's off. <laughs> just crazy, dude. It's like once they want it and they like hone in on it. I mean, they are absolutely. Ferocious. Come on, there you go, it's blind cast. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep one Benito. My freezer is just full of Benito. It has been, um, and I've been eating a lot. But um, yeah, I think it goes just that one fish. And if we get a Spanish mackerel, if we're lucky. I'll keep that. Oh my God! Right next to me. See, the key is sometimes, guys, it's not about just finding the bait. There's a lot of bait here. There's a lot of bait at the front of the river where all the boats are, but that's not where all the fish are. Is this a bluefish? Oh, it is a bluefish. All right, I'll keep you, buddy. 
Something a little different than Benito. Sweet, all right. I'll take a bluefish and all the Benito. Something a little different. Cocktail blue, that's a good eating size too. I will take it. <laughs> That's not a bluefish. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, he's going all crazy zigzags. My wrist hurts. Thanks, buddy. Got him. So I do have one boat that kind of found me. Um, so hopefully they stay over there. Because this is, you know, there's multiple pods over here that just keep popping up. They just lulled out for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. That's when that boat went through. So hopefully they just keep their distance and we can just stay on fish. This one might be a blue fish. I can't really tell. Yeah, definitely a blue fish. Come here, buddy. A little blue too. I'll say you always want to check your leader. You should check your leader regardless every once in a while. You always want to check it um, after bluefish. After everyone, you never know what the hell can happen. Their buddies love to come around and peck the bait out of their mouths. So it's important that um, you check the leader. Yeah, once you realize the bluefish get into the boat pretty quick, I've noticed that once you get them pretty close to the boat, then the friends will spook. But I've lost so many fish. Um, from other bluefish trying to eat the bait out of their mouth and snapping the line. There they go. He's going right by. 
Ice Benito, dude. That's a really good one. Try and get him in as quick as I can. That's a really good one. You beauty on the pencil. Let me get a quick pick and let her go. All right, sweet. You let's check, relax, relax. Ow, oh, he got me. Relax, relax. <laughs> he does not want to be measured. He's like 17 or 18 to the fork. He got me. <laughs> <laughs> that little shit. Dude, he was chopping mouth open closed. Mouth open closed. <laughs> yeah. He got me pretty good. Snapped off. Not the surface eraser, dude. Oh, the leader popped. Oh, I can see it. Oh, he has it in his mouth. Well, you know how I was just saying, um, check your leaders. Or your, your knots. So this snapped right at the leader. The knots right there, the FG. So it wasn't the knot, and it actually wasn't above the knot. Interesting. I think it was a bluefish cut the line. It was just bluefish and bonito mixed. The bonito, I saw him green back. He had the plug in his mouth. Um, super unfortunate. I hate that. I hate when that happens. Um, but that's just kind of what happens with fishing. And so, yeah, I just, I mean, I just had a blue in the jig, so I know they were mixed right there, like fully mixed. And I have a really good feeling a blue came in the front and just kind of popped the line. Either way, I mean, that's fishing. That's a single hook, so hopefully he gets free. If not, he should be able to feed fine and someone gets a free plug if they catch him. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna retie. I did love that surface eraser, but it's all right, I'll get another one. I only had one because I wanted to try it, see if I liked it. I haven't, I haven't fished that previously. Um, I didn't like it, I loved it. That thing was so much fun. But I'm gonna throw in an Albi snack. I can fish it similarly. Uh, don't get the casting distance, which kind of stinks. But um, don't know what doing. Um, but yeah, we'll keep fishing. Hopefully, we can find some Albies. I'm probably gonna head out. Uh, the bite here is slowed down a little bit. I mean, they're still popping up pretty consistently. But I've caught enough Bonito to be happy, um, and I'm really looking for that false. So, all right, I'll be back when I'm tied up and back on some fish. It's a bonito, dude. It's a blue. It's a bonito. <laughs> where did you come from, buddy? What? Bro, where did you come from? Oh, what a great surprise. Last catch of the day. I'm heading in after this. Dude, where did you come from? Seriously. You. All right, let me put the GoPro off. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video on that note. Uh, great day, the morning was ridiculous. Um, the bite slowed down a ton. There's boats on like all the fish. Um, and right over here is where we were catching them this morning. It kind of died. 
clearly not. I mean, they're... all right, guys. So uh, the GoPro died during the outro. Funny. Um, but yeah, no, I'm gonna head back now. Awesome video, absurd. Check out the um, Hoagie Pence or Hoagie Surface Eraser. I'm gonna put a link in my um, description. So check the description. If you use that link, it actually helps out the channel too. So check that out. That bait is phenomenal. I gotta buy like 10 more. Um, yeah, if you like the video, subscribe. And if I do catch any fish on the way back, see like pods or whatever, you'll probably see it after this. If not, I'll see you guys in the, the next video. Peace.